Okay, today we're going to talk about the partial sums method. But in order to understand that, first you need to understand place value. Our first number here, 268. First we'll look at the hundreds column. We have 200. Those can be represented in flats. The number six is our tens column. Those can be represented in longs. And our ones column is an eight. The eights can be re represented in cubes. So a three-digit number, such as 268, has two hundreds, six tens, and eight ones. Now that we understand place value, we're going to demonstrate the partial sums addition method with three-digit numbers. We start in the hundreds column. 200 plus 100. I'm going to put my thoughts over here. The 2 represents the 200, and the 1 represents the 100. And then I actually put 300 here. Now I'm going to go to the tens column. 60 plus 20. The 6 represents the 60, and the 2 represents the 20. I'm going to put an 80. Now I'm moving on to the ones column. 8 plus 3. Eight plus three is eleven. One, nine, three. There's my answer. When your home link comes home, you're going to see a three digit addition problem as well as the ballpark estimate. The ballpark estimate is a great way to check your work. So let's start there. If I'm estimating the number 200, 219, I'm going to put 200. If I'm giving an estimate of 528, I'm going to put 500. Now let's go back and do our partial sums method. We start in the hundreds column. 200 plus 500 is 700. 10 plus 20 is 30. 9 plus 8 is 17. 747. Let's check our work using our ballpark park estimate. 200 plus 500 is 700. Our answers are very close. 